What is going on you guys? This is going to be a Monday mail day. Um, I don't know when I'm going to release this video. Um, but yesterday was the 28th of January. So that was a Monday. And typically, more times than not, Monday is probably the best day of the week. Um, as far as TTMers go um, for successes. And yesterday did not disappoint. Um, a pretty nice fat stack of freaking mail when I came home. So we will go ahead and get into the negative, which there's only one, um, and that was from Edward DeBartolo Jr., Hall of Famer, um, old owner of the um, 49ers, back in their heyday and in their prime and all that good stuff. Um, I got a note from them, like a typed out note, um, that said that they had answered my request once before in 2016 and it's one what did he say it's one autograph per person slash household for a lifetime the note said so um, I don't know what kind of database they got there um, at DeBartolo Holdings but holy smokes dude like I didn't even remember that I got them <laughs> so I thought that was somewhat humorous. I felt like the TTM was telling me something that I didn't know. Um, next is another owner of another iconic team, a guy that I've gotten before. Um, but I love these freaking cards, and I didn't have them on this. Um, but that's the Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones. So really happy to add that. Next. So I have probably... I do not have a ton of base cards. When I say a ton, I mean I have a lot, but not probably compared to the average sports card collector. I probably have 2,000 or 3,000 base cards. And so instead of always going through Com C, and I just stopped being lazy and started going through the boxes, trying to find guys that I had two cards of and send off. So. Um, here probably in the next couple months you're going to see dudes that I've gotten probably two, three, four times before. Um, but I'd rather send it a donation and get the card signed and get some ink on there than just have them sit in a box, me personally. Um, so next is Cowboys um, safety back in the day. I really think this cat's going to be in the, in the Hall of Fame one day. Um, I really do. He was one hell of a ball player. Um, Captain Crash. That is Cliff Harris and he inscribed... Captain Crash, six-time Pro Bowl, and two-time Super Bowl champ um, on his rookie card. So how freaking awesome is that? I think this is funny that this card right here, this is his rookie card. Um, he was already in the league five years um, when he got his first card. And let me try to do some math here. He was not even 30 years old when this card came out, and the dude looks like he's like 50. Uh, so that's <laughs> just something a little different there. About I think he was uh, he would have been what 24 or 25, something like that. So really cool, nonetheless. Um, this bad boy right here will be going off one day to get graded. Um, as far as the signature is concerned, because I definitely think it's a 10, and it's beautiful with those three inscriptions. Here's another guy that I've gotten before. As a matter of fact, I just got him not too long ago. But I was flipping through the cards, and I found a rookie card, which I don't know why I, this rookie card was laying in my commons box, if you will. Um, so I sent him... I don't remember if I sent him... 20 or 40 bucks. It was one of the two. Because I remember I felt bad that I just got him and I'm sending off again. And I explained that in my note. Um, but he signed three of three. And that's Hall of Famer Joe Schmidt. And one thing I've noticed, and this may not be the case all the time, but one thing I've noticed with uh, Mr. Schmidt is if you send him a donation and ask for a Hall of Fame inscription, um, and from what I've seen, he always freaking does it. I'm not saying twenty dollars, just maybe five bucks, ten bucks, um, but really cool. I've always thought this card is somewhat humorous, man, because it looks like that's a aluminum can on his on his dome. And then this one is awesome. This is his rookie card, Hall of Fame, 1973, ten-time Pro Bowl, 
not, or excuse me, eight-time All-Pro. Dude, look at that card, man. That's not a reproduction or a reprint or anything. That's the real freaking deal. Um, and the corners and even the centering's pretty. The centering, I think, is really, really good. It's not perfect. But look at these corners, man. Like this card, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this from the signature to the card um, condition itself. I mean, it has a couple spots you can see throughout the card. But man, this is just freaking so damn cool. So cool. Um, next is my favorite Hall of Famer. Um, and I haven't, I don't think I've sent a request out to him in two years or so. So I was past due, in my opinion. Um, freaking one of the greatest wide receivers to ever play. I feel he's an innovator of the position, changed how it's still played to this day. And that's Lance Allworth. Um, so he signed this freaking card, which turned out ridiculous, man. Um, signed the top, put the Hall of Fame inscription and Bambi and his number down on the bottom. Oh my gosh, man. Look at that refractage. Insane, man. My dog wants to come in. That's that barking in the background. Next is like an orange prism. This one doesn't show up as well as the other one. And then I forget what these cards are called. This 1981... Uh, it's like TCM or something like that. Hey, buddy. Really freaking cool. And this is... Um, I would kind of consider this player era, even though it's not a top or a Fleer or Bowman or anything like that. Really cool. I love it. Just the simplicity of just the freaking picture. Him on the field. So freaking cool. And here is three more vintage player era... Hall of Fame base cards. Signing three of three. Browns running back. Leroy Kelly. So damn awesome, man. What's up, buddy? Hmm? I love you. Look at these, man. This is why I do it. This is why I TTM. Um, I got into TTM and really hot and heavy. Um, I've done it since I was seven or eight, and I stopped doing it for a while, and I got back into it really hot and heavy about five, six years ago. And it's, it's just stuff like I got into it because I thought it would save me more money than collecting certified stuff and boxes and all that. And honestly, it takes up probably four times as much time as collecting certified and as much as stuff as I send out it's probably just as expensive if not more than I was spending before um, but there's just something about freaking ink on a vintage card especially like a, a rookie card that just sets it off for me man it just reminds me every day that I get something in like that like yep that's why we do this uh, so that is that till next time adios be safe bye bye Let's try to stay positive, y'all, in the community. It's a great thing.